If you run a business, no matter what size, you need a Facebook business page. Why? Because Facebook is still the most popular social media platform on the planet and a powerful way to connect with your customers. You can use your Facebook business page to share contact information, your business hours, services you provide, connect to a store and list your offers and much more. A Facebook business page will also help you be discovered by new customers and grow your brand. Setting up a Facebook business page is very easy and completely free. You don't need any specific computer skills or digital know-how. So if you are a complete beginner, you won't have any problem creating yours. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a Facebook business page step by step. So if you're ready, let's go and jump on the computer. To create a Facebook business page, you need a personal Facebook account. So if you haven't got one, you're going to need to create one before you can start setting up your page. It's super simple to do and only take a couple of minutes. Once you've created your personal account and you are logged into Facebook, you should see a screen that looks just like this. Across the top of the window, there is a bar that includes multiple icons, which are shortcuts to access the main Facebook features, such as your friends, Facebook marketplace, groups, and more. On the right hand side of this bar are further icons, one to access your profile and right next to it, a circle with multiple dots called menu. Just click on it. In the create section, scroll down to the page option and select it. From there, we can start building our page, starting with a page name. Since this page is for your business, you will want to use your business name. I'm going to build a page for a dentist called Kendall Dental Care. As you're adding information to your page, you can see them being displayed in the preview window. The next step is to pick a business category. Choosing the right business category is important as it will help your page being discovered in Facebook when people are searching for a business like yours. In this case, we're going to go for general dentist. You can choose three categories altogether. So if you feel other categories are relevant to you, just add them. For instance here, I will add cosmetic dentist and pediatric dentist to give my page a chance to be found for these terms too. Don't add categories you don't provide services for. If you can't find an exact category that fits with what you do, choose the closest possible match. Only the first category you've picked will show on your page. The next step is to add a description. Think of this as the equivalent of a, an about us page you would find on any given website. If you have a website and have an about us page, you might want to repurpose that content in the description of your Facebook business page. It will save you some time. If not, use this space to describe who you are, what you do, the services you provide, and why people should do business with you. There is a character limit of 255 characters, so try using them all. Once you're done, just click on Create Page. After a few seconds, you should see a pop under message telling you that your page has been created and prompt you to add images or to go to your page to add more details. Let's start with images. Scroll down the left hand side panel, which should reveal two placeholders to add images to your page. The first one is to add a profile picture, which will display here. The second one is for the main image of your page, which is a cover photo and will be displayed here. Let's start with the profile picture. This is the image that will show pretty much everywhere across Facebook whenever you publish a post or a comment or when someone shares your content. So that's why I recommend you use your business logo here. Facebook recommends you use an image that fits the following dimensions, 170 pixels by 170 pixels. But when you do, it seems to return an error upon uploading it. To avoid this, I suggest you use an image that is 170 pixel high by 180 pixels wide instead. It will also be cropped into a circular shape, so make sure it doesn't affect your design. I have prepared a logo earlier, so I just need to fetch it and load it. The next step is to add your cover photo. Here, Facebook recommends to use an image that is 1640 pixels by 856 pixels. Once again, I suggest not following these recommendations and use an image that is 850 pixels wide and 350 pixels high if you want your cover photo to display well on desktop and mobiles. I have also prepared a cover photo to those dimensions earlier, so I'm going to load it now. If you are struggling with creating your own images to the right sizes, I suggest you use canva.com, which is where I created both images from scratch. 
Canva is an online design tool you can use to create logos, social media content, and much more, all for free. For more information, click on the link in the description. Once you've loaded your photos, use the desktop and mobile preview to check you're happy with the look and feel of your page. Then click on save. After a few seconds, you should see another pop under message letting you know you are interacting as your page. You might see a pop-up prompting you to create a WhatsApp button and create a WhatsApp ad. Just skip all of it for now, as I will cover this in a minute. It's official, your page is now live. Meaning, your page has now officially been created and is available for everyone to see. But don't get too excited just yet. For your page to be successful and your business to be credible, you need to complete another few steps. If you scroll down your page a little, you should see a box called Set up your page for success. It includes a progress bar showing you how many steps you've completed so far and how many are left to do. And so far, we have done 5 out of 13. This box is broken down in three key areas, each requiring a number of actions for the remaining steps you need to complete to finalize your page. This makes the process very simple to follow. Let's go through them one by one. The first one is all about your page identity. If you've followed everything we have covered so far, all the steps should be marked as completed. Let's move on to the next area. Provide info and preferences, which includes six steps, starting with adding a website link to your page. Just click on the Add Website button and add your website address in the pop-up. If you don't have a website, tick the My Page Doesn't Have a Website Ready or button. You can close the pop-up once you're done. Facebook will automatically save your changes. Next, click on the Add Location Info button. In the pop-up window, add your business address, postcode and city. If you don't have a physical location, tick the radio button My Page Doesn't Have a Location and close the pop-up. The next step is to add your business hours. From the pop-up, select the option that applies to your business and add the details accordingly. Next, add your phone number. This is fairly straightforward. If you don't have a phone number, tick the box My Page Doesn't Have a Phone Number. The next step is for those of you who want visitors to connect with you via WhatsApp. WhatsApp has become an extremely popular way of connecting with customers over the years. Since Facebook owns WhatsApp, they make it easy to integrate it with your business page. If this is your preferred choice of dealing with customers, just click on the Connect WhatsApp button, then enter your phone number. Click on Send Code. You should be prompted with a message to enter a verification code you would have received on your phone. Enter it. Once verified, you can click on the Add Button option and skip the rest of the messages. Facebook will then automatically add a WhatsApp button call to action right at the top of your page. Anyone coming across your page will be able to reach out to you directly by clicking on this button. This call to action button is by far the most important component of your page because it is what people will be using to get in touch with you. WhatsApp is only one of the possible options available. You might want your visitors to email you instead, call you and book an appointment, order some food if you are a restaurant owner or something else. To choose an option, click on the Edit WhatsApp button and select the Edit button option. This will trigger a pop-up with all the possible actions you can choose as your main button. Choose your preferred option. I'm going to choose the Call Now option here. Enter the appropriate details and click on Save. Your button will automatically be updated. You've now completed 11 steps out of 13. Only two more steps to go, which are all about introducing your page to the world. Spreading the word by inviting some friends to like your page will be the very first step. So if you want to brag about your business and promote it, invite as many friends as you can. The next step is all about creating a welcome post. In your welcome post, you want to convince your audience to like and follow you. Create a welcome post that includes details about your business and why people should like your page. Provide information about what you'll share, such as special offers, updates about your business and more. To help you create your welcome post, you can use a straightforward template Facebook has made available, which I have used to create mine. Click on Post. Your welcome post should be seen on your feed right there. 
You should also see a message letting you know you have completed all 13 steps and that you can update your page in full at any time. More on this in just a minute. Despite Facebook claiming these are the 13 steps to a successful business page, there are a few more things you can do to maximize your chances of attracting new customers. Starting with giving your page a username. The username of your page is what will appear right under the name of your business page, but also in the address bar of your browser. Creating a username for your page makes it easy for people to remember it and find your business on Facebook. Right now, the URL in the address bar is anything but user-friendly. You couldn't expect anyone to remember it. To change it, click on the link Create at Username right under your page name. In the Username field, type which username you'd like to give your page. You would usually use your business name here. Don't include spaces. It is possible the username you want is already being used by someone else, which means you'll have to choose something different, like in this example. Since your page is new, it is highly likely you will not be able to create a username just yet. You'll need to get a minimum amount of people liking your page before you can create a username. I was able to create mine with just 10 likes. Once you've chosen your username, just click on the Create Username button, then Done. Refresh your page. Your page address should have been updated to a much friendlier format everyone can remember and also appear under your page name. The next thing you might want to do is customize what shows in the main navigation of your page. Right now, the options are services, reviews, shop, and more. This is based on the default template Facebook has applied to your page based on the business category you've chosen. To change it, click on the More drop-down button and select Edit Tabs. This will open a window where you can switch to a different template, which will have a different set of buttons. Click on the Edit button to see what options are available. If you want to switch, select which template you think might be more suitable, then click on Apply Template. I'm going to stick with the Services template here since it is the recommended one. However, I want to change some of the navigation bar buttons. Since I'm a dentist, I don't need the shop section to be displayed, so I'm going to turn it off. Instead, I want to add a photo section so visitors can see some of the before and after images I will be posting on my page, which I feel will help conversions. All I need to do is drag and drop it where I want it to show, which in this case would be right after reviews. When you go back to your page, the changes will be visible. Time to move on to the menus on the left-hand side, starting with the Facebook Business Suite. Last year, Facebook launched a free tool called Business Suite, which is now fully integrated as part of your page. With Business Suite, you can manage your Facebook business page, your Instagram business account, and Messenger all in one place. Clicking on the Inbox option, for example, will enable you to access and respond to the messages you have received on Instagram, Facebook, and messengers, as well as comments. You'll need to link up your Facebook business page with your Instagram business account first, which is super simple. You can do this from the Instagram direct option by clicking on the connect Instagram button, log into your Instagram account and follow the process. With business suite, you can easily plan and organize your content using the planner option. With the publishing tool, you can create, publish, and schedule posts and stories on Facebook and Instagram all at once, saving you tons of time. The news feed option will show you your feed both on Facebook and Instagram, while the business app option will help you connect with various apps to grow your business further. I'm not going to spend too much time on Business Suite today as it would warrant a whole video to itself, but if you are an avid user of Facebook and Instagram to promote your business, I recommend you start exploring it further. The menu right below the Facebook Business Suite is exclusively related to your Facebook business page and the most important one for you today. I'm only going to cover three of the items from the list here, which I feel are the ones you should focus on, especially if you are just starting out on Facebook. The first one is the Edit Page Info. Clicking on this will lead you to a page where you can find and edit all the information related to your business you have filled in so far, such as your business name, description, categories, address, etc. 
This is where you'll need to go to edit any of the fields if your business details change. There are a few fields that weren't available during our initial setup, which you might want to consider, such as adding a privacy policy and a price range, if applicable. This is also where you can specify temporary changes in services, which can be practical during the pandemic. The next section we are going to look at is the page settings. This is where you will be able to fine tune your page to your exact requirements. From here, you can unpublish your page, restrict countries which have access to your page, add an age limit to visitors who can view your page, turn on a profanity filter, and so on. On the left hand side, there is a sub menu giving you access to further options such as messaging, customization, where you can automate responses through Messenger, allowing other people apart from yourself to manage your page and many other features, some of which we've already covered. Let's click back to our page so we can get back to the main menu and look at the last important section called Insights. This section will provide you with the analytics about your page. From here, you can see how well your page is doing, how many people your posts have reached, how many new page likes you have received, and much more. Keeping an eye on this regularly will help you understand what works and what doesn't, and allow you to improve your performance over time. Let's go back to our page and publish our first post. To do this, click on the Create Post button. From the pop-up window, you can simply write something, add an image or a video, and even include an option for visitors to WhatsApp you if you've set the option up, or message you via Messenger, which I think is a great way of attracting new visitors. Once you're done, click on Post, and it will show directly in your feed for everyone to see. That's it guys, your page is now all set with your first post. I hope you enjoyed the video, and until next time, happy marketing.